camera. Action! Every Saturday, it's the same thing. Buys me this dodgy chocolate, and then it's way outside, son. Spends all his money on the horses. Problem is, he doesn't have a system. Talk about pin the tail on the donkey. Now, if he left it to me, I reckon I could do much better. Right, let's go. Bet I could pick a winner if you'd let us have a go. We could go halfers with the winnings. Let me think that one over, will you? There, thought it over. No thanks, you'd probably have difficulty picking your nose. <laughs> that from a man who claimed his last bet would walk the two o'clock race. Well, to be fair, it did. Bummer for him though, because all the others galloped. <laughs> That is one race the jockey Robbie Morse will want to forget in a hurry. Concrete underpants finishing plumb last, way behind the rest <sighs> of the field. A hugely disappointing run by the four-year-old Colt. I'll win next time, I just know it. That horse has got bounce-back ability. I wouldn't like to rule him out even at this early stage, following wins. <laughs> Already this year. Price Numpty, though, begin to thread his way through the field. Come on, Price Numpty. Numpty. I'll go for pretty nifty. Racing keenly now, he's found his stride. It's pretty nifty. Beginning to live up to his name and emerging as a real threat inside the final furlong. Pretty nifty rockets into contention. Price Numpty begins to fade badly. And at the line, pretty nifty is the winner. Pretty nifty takes the race with a late run. So pretty nifty, the eight to one shot will have made her back. Beginner's luck, that's known as. Oh, yeah. A sure thing in the next race, then. Nippy Sweetie. The up and coming filly who flopped here last time round, but who certainly came back with a bang there, thrusting home late. There's some seriously in depth number crunching here. I've even fed in what the horses ate for breakfast and race days. I designed it myself, and so far, all my selections have won. I could make mega bucks with this. Yeah, but wise up, Jamie. Even if you could win some money, who do you know to put in a bet for a 12-year-old? Gran! Gran, what do you think? Brilliant. I used to love a flutter on the GGs. Just remember, our secret, OK? Because I am so dead if Dad ever finds out. Philly, whose form has dipped in recent months, Grease Lightning certainly came back with a vengeance there. New tactics, making every yard of the running from the off and absolutely destroying the rest of the field in an almighty burst of the last one and a half furlong. So, that's my computer program works, Gran. I've already picked our next winner. So, who should we be putting our spawn doolies on next, kiddo? A hugely popular winner with the punters, the Burling to Bertie, 100 to 30 favourite. Yes! Good to do, wins the rare stakes, spectacular wins in a row for the Rose Riley train colt. Buzz Lightbell, the I'm runaway winner of the well done stakes. This is what's a winner! You'll have everyone quaking in their boots, <laughs> June Elderly, written by Lady McGrath, and at the line, Cassie Jersey, the big boy. Cassie Kirsten, we've done it again! Cassie Kirsten, 100 to Bertie! <laughs> Right, you two. Your grand's away on holiday to Ibiza, so she won't be able to look after you tonight. Fortunately, it's not a problem now we're in the money. Meet your new nanny, Miss Entwistle. Without exception, I shall always be referred to as Mrs Entwistle. I do have a few simple rules. I insist on no sugary confectionery or savoury snacks. No music, no television, and I shall be making checks to see if I'm being obeyed. No playing those ghastly computer games, a scourge to the younger generation. No loud music between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 12.35 p.m. And then from 12.37 p.m. until I finish. From my arrival until... Elbows off the table, young man. Etiquette must be observed at all times. Stick to these few rules, and I'm sure we'll all get on like a house on fire.
If it's the nanny you're in a huff about, don't worry. You won't have to put up with her for too much longer. No, because we've decided to send you both away to boarding school. Who'd have thought it? My wee Jamie and Lucy going to Greystone? Just keep picking those winners, son. Simple plan. From now on, I'll give them the horse with the least chance of winning. Are you a guaranteed donkey? So they start losing? No way! I couldn't just pack him like that. Unless... What did I warn them? No television. No playing those ghastly computer games. better way of picking a loser. I don't know, Hopper. Only Dad could have a choose. Concrete underpants. And the big racing story of the day has to be from the Scottish town of Kildenny, which has caught gambling fever. It is estimated the whole of the adult population have lumped all their wonder on on the big race of the day. And the horse they're going for, the 100 to 1 rag. 100 to 1 chance, concrete under pants. We'll put our money on concrete underpants. No normal bet, but we got this tip, eh? Seems like a good gene. What we all on? Concrete underpants, eh? Not that I approve of gambling, but I thought a teensy bet this once wouldn't do any harm. Flying on, it's head for head, propelling home the late third concrete underbent, and it's a tremendous finale from our world in contest. This is so tight, it's as tight a race as I've seen in a long time, and oh my goodness, it's all it's too close to call between Luffy Lomax and the late lunching concrete underbent. And looking at the photo finish, the winner by the narrowest of margins on the sand side, Luffy Lomax wins the races. What an incredible drama, and what a thing for. What happened? I mean, the, the system. I know, Dad. You must have been right all along. All those winners must have been beginner's luck. Sorry. I know it sucks, but things are going to have to go back to the way they were. No more posh food. No more nanny to teach us good habits. No leaving home for a better education. Yeah, it was stupid of me to ever think life could be so fantastic. Jamie, I can still see a light on. Promise me, please promise me you're not in that new computer doing anything to do with horses. I promise you, Dad, I'm not. You swear? I swear, Dad, no horses. Night, hey, son. Good night, Dad. It's your chance to learn Tic Tacs. So get your right hand free, top of the head, one. That's one. Bottle, hit the nose, two. Bottle. Carpet, the double chins, that's three. Four, rope, four. And hand, five. So it's easy to Tic Tac. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Now you can come to the races and watch what the Tic Tacs do.